And we're live. Hey, hey, it's TGI Friday here to kick off your Lego loving weekend. And as always, we're here to talk all things Lego related. If you've got any questions that are burning you in the right places, pop them in the live chat or um, say something. Who's listening to me? If you've got any questions Much. that are burning you in the right place. Right. Uh, my bad. Yeah. Every week, yeah. Dan. Okay. It no, it was the dog. It was you. Ah, oh, it's all the dog's fault. Okay. Um, moving right along. Uh, if you're watching us on the playback, feel free to pop something in the comments. I always answer them. Ask my regulars. They'll, they, they'll tell you. They'll tell you. Okay, as always, I've got my friends joining me. We've got Ryan. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, you up to much? I'm just doing a little bit of sorting and tidying up tonight. Cool, cool. Okay, moving right along. We've got Bill and Judy. Hello. Hi. What are we up to tonight? Much of anything? Finishing up the Ah, cool. Nice. Okay. We've also got Dan the Man from New Zealand. Evening, evening. What's you up to? Uh, it would depend on whether my dog is off my desk or not. So, um, uh, that sounds of- like a dog hate my homework. Appreciations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, too cute. Okay, all right. Well, we'll check back and see what you're doing later. And last but not least, at least for now, we've got Dark Side Bricks. Hey, everybody. Okay, and as well, if it'll ever let me click off you. It just loves Philip too much. And uh, as you can see, I'm here live in my parents' dining room and uh, I have a live studio audience over in the, the lounge room. Say, say hi, Mom and Dad. Hi. <laughs> no. Yeah, that worked well. No. Okay. No. Uh, might say a quick hi to everyone who's joined us in the live chat so far. We got uh, Bilza, I don't know that guy, Douglas McBricken, trolling early, that's nice. Uh, Shieldy One, Andrew Horton, no, we we're just being fashionably late, not late. Uh, collecting Bricks says hello, hello. Uh, what else we got? We got Critter, what's the GO? Uh, Kathleen M, Martin M, even big aquatics, that's a new name. Uh, Tata Pad, Jason Carpenter, and Cat Matt Jess. Hello, hello. A lot of the regular crowd have shuffled in. Welcome, welcome. What are you doing? Your dog is crazy, Dan. Does it think it's a cat? Uh, no. <laughs> She's just a spoiled princess. Come here. Oh, spoiled princess thinks she's a cat. Uh, she um, she started out as my drug dog, actually, so she's quite used to getting up onto the tables and things because that was part of the training. Ah, uh, okay. Fair so enough. She'll, she'll just make herself comfortable wherever she feels like it. <laughs> Which nice one. Which be on my desk. Fair enough. Well, it's taken us exactly three minutes to get off topic. Hey. Has anyone done anything Lego this week to put us back on topic? No? Don't all talk at once. Uh, did a couple of videos for YouTube. Oh, yes. Um, carrying on with my Overwatch mock. Yeah. And... What else have I done? Prepping for uh, our up to 12-hour fundraising stream in a couple of weeks. Oh, cool. So what are you fundraising for? Uh, For St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to say the least. Has anyone ever tried the bomb hot sauce? 
No. No. 135,600 Scovilles. And if we reach the $500 target, we have to take a spoonful of that. Not, looking, not looking forward to it. That's <laughs> a lot. Uh, I think it'll be like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon or something. Uh, if you've ever watched Hot Ones on YouTube or haven't, go and watch that because that is specific hot sauces in that. Everybody yeah. reacts to get to it. Good stuff. Uh, my brother's saying that that's tapping. Okay. What? Sweet. Okay. I'm glad you Get think so. Pull down your gob shieldsy and put it on video and let us know how it goes yep. for you. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Troll. Troll all. -all. Oh, we've got an April in the chat. She says, good morning, friends. How's everyone? Good morning. It's blooming early where you are. <laughs> yeah. Mod. Um, so topic of choice, or well, not topic, but uh, model of, of discussion at the moment. What's everybody's thoughts on the ISD? I think it was a bit predicted wasn't it oh it was yeah not worst kept secret ever as usual <laughs> another re-released star wars set yeah Surprise. but the other one was like 2012 and held together with magnets yeah. was a really bad at sagging so this mm. one will be a lot tidier i think yeah so I, it's I'm not great but i like it Oh, but I Price point, eleven hundred dollars. Who's going to grab it? But I think it's got like one and a half times more pieces than the original, or something. Yeah. Like, like I, I'm all for Lego going back and revisiting things that they can now do better with the technology and the brick they've got. I, I don't have an issue with that at all. I, I, in fact, I support them doing it with classic space, mining pirates, and fabulous. Yeah, if only they would, eh? Yeah. Mm, and monorail. Uh, yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah, bring back the monorail. Monorail. That'd make a mint if they did that. Mm. Even if they did the train, but had the exact same track. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people 3D printing the track. To, yeah. To keep it alive, so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Easy not to want some of that money. Yeah, I know, right? It, it, or trains and roller coasters for sure. Yep. So the ISD is two hundred dollars more expensive in the New Zealand shop at home than it is in the Australian shop at home. Just FYI. Wow. wow. That dollar's not that far apart, but two hundred bucks really. Hey. What well, didn't they do something ridiculous with the Disney mm -hmm. train too as well? Yeah, we're still a hundred dollars more for the Disney train. Yeah, wow. Getting gouged here. Gouged. You, you could put that hundred dollars towards some jet stuff like over uh, Australia and then stock up on everything and you'd, you'd come out better off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Dark Side, you're the resident Star Wars expert. What's your take on the ISD? Uh, 23 cents per piece. I think it's a little bit pricey. What about the look of the model? Uh, it looks nice. It looks fantastic, actually. But, yeah, too pricey. Um, those people that buy UCS sets will, um, and especially the expensive ones, will buy it, obviously. Um, especially if you've got the space to display something that's over a metre long. I don't know, right? That um, for that me, like half a meter wide as well. Yeah, it's two prices. Oh, Jesus, that's huge. Yeah, it's it's yeah, 100 it's a hundred meter ten long and seventy five wide and sixty four high, something like that. Yeah, sixty six forty four, but it's massive. Yeah, it's huge. Massive. Hey, Dad. You'd need uh, some uh, right. space to put it. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, twenty three cents. Twenty three cents a piece per piece. I think it's too highly priced. 
Yeah. Um, what was the comparison I saw was the Disney Castle. Um, half as many pieces again with five, six times the minifigures and half the price. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a bit overpriced. Good old Disney and um, Lucas tax on top of each other. <laughs> Oh, it's the double whammy. Double yeah. dipping the tax, yeah. Well, it's a beautiful looking set. I won't be getting it. How much yeah. was the UCS Millennium Falcon? 1300 12. Australian. 12. 15 in New Zealand. I, I didn't get one of those either. Yeah. It's getting a bit out of control, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, they're getting up there, aren't they? They, they surely are. you got to wonder, and it pains me to say this, but this last six months, maybe 12 months, you know, the whole attitude of Apple about we have the best iPhones, if we can charge whatever we want and people will buy them. Mm. <laughs> this hurts my soul, but I'm starting to yeah. think. There's a similar vein of thought here with the adult market. We can make a set and charge what we want. People will buy it. But and the sad thing is, is they do. So, and while people keep paying for it, they're going to keep doing it. Yep. yep. Exactly right. <laughs> but just like Apple with Lego, create a quality product that people have faith in you can charge what you want because people will pay it. Yep. So, yeah. you know, no no one to, to blame but, but ourselves, Sit down. really. Oi. Oh, yeah. absolutely right. 100% degree. Like, without starting Apple Fandroid um, argument, you know, there, there is a difference in the, not necessarily the quality of the product, but the marketing and the, you know, um, genius of, of the brand so legos i put in the same class as uh, as apple they create the the loyalty and the fan base and then yep. you know we pay it because we have faith in the product yeah, and then exploit mm. them and now you have the second generation of lego fans that are coming into it at our age now not that have missed out on those early ones that are thinking oh i must get you know, this round because in 10 years, this one's going to be worth $5,000. That's mm. right. But now there's this economy of I need to buy all these sets and I'm going to buy two and I'm going to keep them in the box and they're going to be worth a fortune. Yeah. So yeah. Will they? I don't know. Probably. Well, will I be able to buy them all and do that? Not a chance. If everybody thinks like that and everybody buys two and keeps one in a box, they're not going to be worth squat because everybody's trying to get on that Lego is gold bandwagon. I know a guy mm. who's got an SSD for sale. I was talking to him today. Um, SSD in box, in sealed box, blah, blah, blah. And he's willing to take a dive on the price just to get rid of it before this new UCS ISD ruins the price in the SSD. Wow. So, yeah, he's rattled that his S precious $1,200 SSD isn't going to be worth much more than $800 in the coming months. Yeah. yeah work animals, they say. The SSD is only 10 centimetres longer. You're right, Smudge. Or will it be worth more because there are collectors that missed the first round that want both and have to have both? Well, um, you know, you, most of you know the person I was talking to today, but I'm not going to say on the screen. And um, yeah, he doesn't seem like the sort of person that would lower his price in a hurry. Yeah. I thought that with the Falcon that, you know, it would make the other one more valuable, but it hasn't. And I think quite simply because the expensive parts in it that were hard to bricklink are now readily available. So you can just bricklink an original if you want, mostly. What about the little bit that goes around the um, around the back? Wasn't there That's some rare yeah. part? That... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was re-released. Um, and the radar dish is 
98 percent the same yeah so it's not a hundred but it's close but yeah those um light bluish gray uh ladder pieces were horrendous but they got re-released with it so okay so they're a lot cheaper now yep April, we should have a speed build of the Falcon on stream. That'd be funny. It'd only be like a 17 hour stream, surely. It's only 17 hours. <laughs> I don't know. What's the fastest anyone's ever built that thing? Have any of you guys built the UCS Falcon? No, nope. I don't do Star Wars. Who said me? Did someone say me? Guess not. Smudge, this is really isn't helping. Smudge. That, that's a serious moustache you got growing on there, Dan. I know, right? Okay. Right. <laughs> Did you just slap me in the face? Really? Hey, hey Smudge. Smudge. Hey, Puppet Dog. She ignores the speakers for some reason. <laughs> hey, she sat down though. She did, yeah. Very, very, very. <laughs> Such a pretty yeah, yeah, doggy. doggy. Yeah, be a good doggy. She is a <laughs> princess. And she? And she knows it. Yep, she sure does. On, off. All right, well, while, while we're on topic for a little while, um, uh, Philip, how did you set up for Bunny Pop Go? Good, good. Um, we've got, I've got my Tatooine table all set up for it. Uh, we've got uh, David from Harvey Bay who's been doing a lot of Mon Calamari mocks and um, Rebel Star Cruiser mocks. He's uh, got all those on display. Uh, Amy's doing a Christmas display. She's got that all set oh, up. Nice. And uh, we've got a young, uh, uh, eight-year-old young guy um, and his father are going to be displaying the son's uh, rebel uh, fleet of rebel uh, starfighters. So A-wings, X-wings, Jedi starfighters, the whole, the whole works. And we've got Michael coming up from the Sunburn Coast who's um, got a 1.8 meter long table that he wants to display i'm not even sure what it is at the moment i think it's hot <laughs> oh nice That's so cool. yeah most of us are set up yeah um, just waiting for the other three to turn up tomorrow morning and set up their stuff oh cool uh, the other two sorry with three of us have set up and oh, i've got to be there nice and early at five o'clock yay Oh, yay. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing photos of what everything looks like because yeah, I, I wish I could be there. I Sorry? wish I could be there, but I wish I could come visit. Yeah. No, it would have been cool, but no, oh, these things happen. Yeah. Oh, good Good to hear it's mostly all set up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It should be a fun day. It should be a fun day. Yeah. Oh, cool. Excellent. So, Ryan, how's your building going for um, Bricktober? Uh, slow, kind of. I got sidetracked a little bit. Yes. I had to preempt it by that 30 seconds. But now I'm just trying to. <laughs> That's okay. I'll make this small again. Let me know when you're ready. There. So this is what I've been working on tonight. Is it just me or is my camera really slow? Your camera decided to be really slow right as I stepped on you. I mean, put you up on the big screen. So I've got these little dancing ballerinas as part of my Christmas parade. Except for that one, she just died. <laughs> Poor ballerinas. She's not oh. playing the game. 
Well, I suppose if, if she doesn't want to be held on an angle. No. no I just need to change the axle that's holding her. Uh, okay. Oh. Just waiting on a few more bits coming in. Is that the CMS Ballerina or did you buy that many assembly squares? That's the CMS Ballerina. Is there a ballerina in the assembly square, is there? Yeah, in the dance studio above the... Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. I'll be buying a few of them then. Because <laughs> I've got these ones, and then at the other end of the table, I've got the um, ice skater that had that blue and silver dress. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I've got them as dancers as well. Cool. So this is part of what 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 are the ballerinas for? The uh, Christmas parade. Uh, cool. Anyone that remembers the original version, I had a big Christmas parade in, down the street. So yeah, this year is part of it. Upgraded, so it's actually got motion this year. That is cool. That's okay. So, I why she's in the wrong position. Wasn't she the one that fell off? Oh, yeah. That might be why. So, obviously, I'll motorize it as well. Very clever. Yeah. So, now just Probably. waiting on parts. <laughs> Yeah, never a new story. Yeah. Somebody's having a lot of fun. That's the joy of having headphones on, you hear everything. <laughs> Like just about everyone's got all their head down, built stuff down. Oh, I'm a bad influence. Yeah. Yep. Stop forcing us to build. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tassipad says, "Wow, that looks cool, Ryan." Thanks. That's right. I just remembered. I didn't actually send that video to Martin yesterday. I sent a photo of the Christmas display. My bad. All righty, ready, mighty. Um, I think the most exciting thing that's happened this week is uh, minifigures. The series nineteen finally arrived where I live. Courtesy yeah. of, of of somebody else in the household buying some. Because I don't collect those anymore. Aww. Well, you know, when when you lose that in the separation or divorce or whatever you like to call it, then, yeah, you kind of lose your enthusiasm for collecting new ones. Fair enough. So, yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, my mum's like going... That's okay. Mum, mum can collect them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hate, I hate being a Debbie Downer, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of sad when you know the wind gets knocked out of your sails with your collecting. Yeah, can't even say I should have gotten a prenup because I don't think we were doing Lego before we got married. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, um, got to to help Mum unbox the um, box on Wednesday. It was Wednesday, wasn't it, Mum? Wednesday yeah. when you. Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> I was I been well away from that. What? Oh, oh. 
um, yeah, yeah, lots of really cool mini figures. But um, after the fact, she's like, "Well, if we if they'd had them on Tuesday, you could have done it on Tuesday night, build night. Never mind." But it was fun helping her open them all, though. And there's, there's some good figs in there, like, you know, I, I won't be collecting all of them, but I'll probably, you know, pick a couple here and there to add to, like, you know, mocks and stuff. Yeah. I collect all of them, but um, I bought a few extras. Um, so I've got the dog one just because I want a few random dogs in my Christmas mock. Um, the pizza guy because it's awesome. Okay. I'll always stop the guy because I'm collaborating on a zoo with one of my mates. Not the skunk, sorry, the chameleon. Oh, yeah. Um, They're so cute. So, They're so tiny. Yeah. That's weird because the oh, friend's chameleon is huge next to it. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think I've got one more, but I can't remember. And I can't see it from here. I'm blind. No. Ah, uh, Bill has all the flamingos. Flamingos. Awesome. They are really cool. I who's obsessed with flamingos, so I have to find lots of flamingos. So, uh, yeah, that's so cool. Uh, I'll be swapping lots of these. Lots of these at convention. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. And same with the rugby player. I, I want the whole thing. Yeah. Jeez. Were, were there any others that you, you reckon that would be the same? As famous what? Do you think the rugby player is going to be the same as um, the baseball one where they've done two different team players? I hope so. I hope so because I've got two baseball teams. One one day I'll build a baseball diamond, but I, I did manage to collect two teams. So I'm doing the same with the rugby guy in hope that they nice. do a second one. Um, yeah. Uh, and in answer to Sheree, the only other one I got multiples of was the the one with the two dogs and the dash hound because it was adorable. Um, everything else, I only got one of for the set or two of in the case of the mascot figures. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's very many misses in that box. Like only the fire woman. The, yeah, the, the the fire fire chief or whatever she is, it seems a bit ordinary. It seems like a city minifigure. She's too boring. Like not not because it's a she or not because it's a city figure, just because it's just boring. It it lacks something that makes it a CMF. Like, it, it would have been better if they did a classic fireman like they did the classic policeman in the um, 40th anniversary series just so that it kind of went with that thing. Mm. Yeah. Rather than a random firefighter. And she seems to be very common in the box too. I don't know what the box count is, but I know in feeling out four or five open boxes, I felt her a lot. Yeah, I make the bell stand with me while I feel them out so that I'm not the only one there. Oh. <laughs> You're just a weirdo, Bill. <laughs> yeah. They're all a little bit weird. A little bit. A lot of it. Some of us more than others. Speak for yourself. Gee. 
yeah. So, so going back to the flamingos, it's really annoying. Yeah. Because if Sharice shares the screen that I just shared. Oh, oh, there we go. Well, thanks for reminding me that you've done that. Finally, hold it. I okay. So there's some flamingos okay. that we got in his zoo. Mm. So, you know, they looked pretty good, but now that the new one's out, you know, I think we might need to replace them with the new one. Or just but add some new ones in with it. So you've got like adult ones and baby ones type thing. Mm, yeah, could do that. But just I the detail it, of the new ones is obviously a lot more than these ones. It is, but it also the creativity of those ones, you've got to have credit as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those ones are cool. Like they have movement. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when I designed these, it was like, you know, you look at it and you think, yeah, that's a flamingo. But now you look at the new flamingo element, it's like, oh, my God, crap. Now, now. So. But, yeah. Oh, and hello, Steve. <coughs> Hello. Hi, Steve. Hey, guys. We've been missing you, Steve. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> sad. We can, we, can, we can create a spot for you. Sorry? I said, if you want to come in because we can leave and create a spot for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy to go back out if you need me to go. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, no, you're not allowed to go anywhere. There you go, Bilza. You're in trouble. <laughs> Why? Who? Huh? Why is Bill in trouble? It's only the depth that varies, right? Pretty much. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, okay. hello, Nat Deals, the asshole. He's just hot, hot. Hey, everybody. Passer Pedal says there's a gaming figure is awesome. The controller he's holding down. Uh, hold, what is it? It's holding is holding is a dead on. Uh, yeah, it looks like for real. He's really good. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a uh, controller. Yeah, that was really cool. And chat map oh. just says, I haven't opened my box yet. I'm not sure what set you guys were talking about. Ah. Who's talking about a set? Yeah, she just said she hasn't opened her box yet. That, that was just an off the cuff comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some don't like to open it very often, <laughs> others open it all the time. Oh, see me. Right. Don't see me. Sorry, I was late, Kat. I missed it. Hold on, Brady. Hold on. That was the perfect comment, Jody. Perfect. <laughs> Steve's just letting down the team. He had an yeah. opening and he didn't take it. Oh, what did Jody say? I missed it. Don't listen to the talk, Steve. I'm really upset. Sorry, I missed it. It's Kelly's birthday tonight, and I didn't take that opening either. Oh. There was no offer. She's <laughs> 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 not feeling well, so. Oh, oh wow. Hang on, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, tell, tell a happy birthday from us. I will. I was singing a happy birthday, but I don't think she watches. No, she doesn't. She uh, uh, might actually be was, able to hear this. So I better be careful what I say. <laughs> Too late. It was Martin M's birthday the other day as well. Wait. Oh, yeah. It was yesterday, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, is, 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 is that Warren singing happy birthday? It's not today. It's yesterday. So I went to LDC today. Yes. Oh, yeah. And. No, I spent enough to get that juice bar thing. Nice. 
Yeah, wow. Have and you built it yet? No, nah, it's seven years. Come on, live build. Hey, I'll show you what else I got. Oh, a little ghosties. Oh, hang on. I want one of them nice. little ghosties. They don't have the Christmas ones out yet? I wouldn't have got it if they did. Yeah, but I would have told you to get me one if they did. And I still wouldn't have got it. <laughs> you would have, because you loved me. And the juice, cool. juice bar. And the juice bar, that looks cool. Yeah. Nice. I might still have some of those ornament things, so I'll have to have a look. But these ones? Yeah, that crap you get when um, you spend enough money. Yeah. Um, if you find yourself near the LDC again, yeah, feel free to um, grab me one of the new Christmas baubles. There's a new Christmas bauble? No. Yeah. Now you tell me. I know you wouldn't have actually noticed it, but yeah. <laughs> It's not got, um, I can't remember what's in it, a little toy soldier. Oh, okay. Um, CS, yeah. so I had no idea. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Cat match, yes, is why am I not surprised if you went to the LDC? I don't go down there often. Um, it was Kelly's birthday, so of course we went to the Lego Discovery Center. No, we went to Chadston so she could go shopping. That, that sounds been. more accurate. Yeah, Very and Mason fun. and I went up to the Discovery Center and um, seen a few friends that um, didn't know we were going to be there. And yeah, convenient. Yeah, it was good. So when I come over to Melbourne, can I borrow Mason? Depends. Oh what you want him for, I guess. <laughs> it depends what, you, it depends what you'll allow. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, preferably just getting access to the LDC. Yeah. Change the topic, you eh? You All don't right. have to go. No, you don't have to go. You, you have, don't need a child to go into the Lego store. Yeah, the Lego yeah, store. You don't, the, um, go on the rides. Go, go on the adult night or the um, the VIP oh, night or something. Oh. You don't need my kids at all. Fair <laughs> Otherwise, um, I don't know. I guess we could go in. I've got three we'll of them. Make, so We'll make a day of it. We could do that. <laughs> Depends how long you're open for. If it's um, mostly the, the Brickvention days, I guess, you know, you spend most of it at Brickvention. Yeah, yeah, but I'll probably I'll... extend it a couple of days or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's school but, holiday too, so we can work something out. They'll have an adult night anyway, like they did last year. I don't see why they wouldn't do it the, the next year? Yeah, but oh, they it, did stupid not to. But it's also it's also on a Saturday night or whatever it is, and oh my god, by the by the time Saturday night comes around after two days of displaying, I'm knackered, so I just I I bypass it. Yeah. Yeah, but Ryan won't be displaying. No. He'll yeah, just be a free point. agent visiting, so it probably won't be quite as stressful. Free agent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, free agent. A mercenary for yeah. hire. To the highest bidder. To the highest bidder. Uh oh. There you go. I just built my latest Christmas set. That is the most hideous looking reindeer I've ever seen. Oh, it's Christmas. What do you expect? Well, yeah. Oh, bug. <laughs> <laughs> it barely even looks like a reindeer. It looks like a cookie. Yeah. Well, it it's does come snack. with a piece of string. I had a look at the Friends Advent calendar yesterday. Cool. Oh, yeah. very I was tempted to buy it. It's got some pretty cool Christmas ornaments in it. Kmart, my friend. But 
but for fifty dollars, no, I think I can probably the parts. Came out at thirty nine bucks. Oh, thirty nine, still too expensive. I think the only exclusive thing is the Friends mini doll, which I don't really care about. Fair point. It's just a mini doll. Yeah. yeah. Although that reminds me, I got this the other day. The ski resort set comes with nice. this and a little ski shop and a half pipe, uh, snow <laughs> plow, a helicopter, stuff like that. A helicopter? We've never seen them before in Lego. Never. I know. Awesome is that? Add that to your collection. I will. <laughs> Everything else is going in the Christmas display. The helicopter's going with the helicopters. In the uh, the garage, in the box in the garage? Uh, it's in the spare room at the moment. Are you hanging them this time? I don't know. It was a pain in the butt patching up all the holes last time. You shouldn't have put them in your butt. <laughs> well, you know, it wasn't putting him in there. It was the fact that, you know, he had to stick the pole up there to get me up high enough to patch the holes. Oh, my God, oh. no. Steve's here. Who said that? I did. I didn't say that. You said you had someone up your bum, not me. <laughs> You're Lego. feeling very like Lego. Christmassy. That's the topic. You're feeling very Christmassy, Steve. <laughs> He's trying to hypnotize you. Oh no. I'm looking. I'm looking at things I can. I can talk about. Um, <laughs> Steve's what? like any topic. Topic. Any topic. On, on Lego related topics. I saw a really cool, um, what do you call it, speed champion display the other day. One of the guys has got all the speed champion cars in a glass cabinet. Looks pretty awesome. Sounds like garbage to me. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, mate. Who's that, who'd have that, guy. that guy. Where's he going? Who's he's just going to drag that? the cabinet over. Nah, no, no, he's grab a set to play with. Uh, Junior set. Just want the figs. Nice. Damn, there's no helicopter in this one. I wonder if there's a helicopter in any of the others. Oh dear. Nah. Oh my god, I've got four sets and no helicopters. Lego Jeez. lives your game. Well, you'll be glad to know I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a um helicopter transport um set coming out next year. Sounds terrific. Yeah. Can't wait. So did you have did you have some info on potentially something that's happening with speed champions next year? I did. Have you heard a rumor or something, have you? You know I'm not allowed to discuss that. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that you'd heard anything. Yeah. But sure, you're you're not an RLFM, are you? Yeah. Oh, but it's all linked to through QLog, so yeah. Hey, so what? We're not allowed to talk about rumors, are we? No. Oh, I mean, sad you can face. talk in very vague terms, but. All right. Well, I'm not right. a member of uh, a lug in any capacity. Can I make a a um? A guess. Can I have a, a guess as to what I think the, the change might be? You can guess whatever you like. It Good. won't be All right. Well, I look at all these and they're about six studs wide. Would that, have a, would that be something that potentially is changing? Not that I've heard. I hope not. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying I'd, I'd like that to happen, but if you want to fit two characters in a in a car, it's probably the only way you can do it. Make it 
rip their arms off? Maybe. Have one with the arm out the window. Yeah. Just be, just be waiting for a mate sort of thing. Yeah, just waiting for a mate. Someone over here has got a Commodore with that as their number plate. Really? Yeah, it's like W-A-N-4-A-M-8 or something. You know, in WA that we can have all, you know, have a full essay for our number plate. Full essay. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'll take this um, brief, brief little moment of nobody talking to remind you all to smack that like button because it likes being smacked. And it makes me happy because I see the little thumbs up. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure you like the stream. And if you don't, like it before you leave. <laughs> yes, yes. So long as you do it at some point. And also, if you haven't subscribed, um, yeah. It's a good idea because you do get notified of when, when we're streaming. Sometimes. Sometimes, no. Is it just me or a couple of seconds ago when Bills was going through whatever box he was going through, it looked like a monkey picking nits out of... Um, I didn't say that. I wasn't watching, but why did Joe look so suspicious? Um, Probably because she was just having nits picked out of her hair. Uh, I don't think that's what happened. Yeah, but that's what it looked like. But I'm itching now. I think you hate that. So am I. Good for my mention. Now, now we sound like a Lego ASMR channel. I think that covers all the weird noises you could ever want. No, they can get weirder. <laughs> they can get weirder. Uh, Did we get that one with the um, the nits getting picked out of the box or not? Yeah. Nit picking, huh? Nits. Mm. nits getting picked out of a box, what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> before, isn't it? So I'm telling you right now. Sorry. No, it's the box. Um, no. It's my fault. I'm gonna get today. <laughs> hey, Funny how before Steve turned no up, box. we were actually talking about Lego. Yeah. Hey. I'm a bad influence. I before Steve turned up, we actually were talking about Lego. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you missed out on what I'm working on tonight. More Christmas stuff. I, yeah, no, I, I, I did see that earlier. Oh, were you just I, I, working? I couldn't jump in, but I could see. Yeah. I wasn't actually listening. Ryan, Ryan, Stephen is a voyeur. He was watching you. He was watching me. Mm -hmm. I told you, if you're going to sit that close to my window, at least wash it. I was looking at the street. Are you sitting there hoping we're going to let him into the bedroom and when she shut the door, he came onto the screen? <laughs> Tip of the well, I have not ever done that. He shut the door and he came on stream. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, dear, dear. Oh god. So Steve, it's now ten o'clock. What have you got for dessert? Uh, I had I had birthday cake already. Oh well there's more, but I got a new oh. Kit Kat Chop Gold Whirl. Mm. Is it dark chocolate? No, it's that um caramelized chocolate and normal chocolate. Cool. Crisp yeah, no, white fingers covered in delicious swirls of golden white chocolate and milk chocolate on a golden top base. Sounds chocolatey. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, I don't have chocolate. All I have is banana. With a red dip in it. <laughs> Got to be careful where you put that. <laughs> I need to go see a doctor about it. A red tip. Oh, my goodness. I can't be waiting for that. That just means it's organic. No, it means that there's something seriously wrong. <laughs> It means oh, don't yeah. talk, it means Steve. You just put it in too deep. <laughs> <laughs> in the pot of wax. Yeah. yeah. It right. is the wrong time of the month. I'm in mean, night for that sort of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in night, sorry. <laughs> what? Have I got a fruit? Mum's just giving me fruit salad. And an apple. You know that pineapple. And a... <laughs> Do you have a pen? Do I have a pen? <laughs> so anyone going to get that big super star destroyer? <laughs> pen pineapple. <laughs> pen. No. <laughs> Do we know how many pieces of fruit, Steve? Yeah. 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 Do we know how many pieces are in that one? Because that looks massive. But Steve, were you here at the beginning? Because we've already had this discussion. Yeah, but I didn't. So I thought you were lurking. No, no, no. Yeah, I, you're the alive. sound was off. The sound was off. Ah. Yeah, we believe you, Steve. Awkward silence. Alright, I'll Google it. You've got, you've got, you've got, it's a banana. Oh, no, they're, 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 they're teasing me with chocolate. By they, I mean Ryan. It's all Ryan's fault. <laughs> yeah, uh, teasing, teasing Ryan with fruit. Yeah, that's going to work. Depends where you put it. <gasps> The bathtub guy, that was the other minifigure I bought. The bathtub Bubbles. guy. Bubbles. Yeah. That the one. guy that needs to go see a doctor. Yeah. Well, that's cool, Bill. Have you changed out his leg so it doesn't have printing on it? No. No, this, this is the T-rated version. We're going to fill the bath oh, with one by one stuff. Do you look up? Thing any for you, um, Steve. Sorry? Uh, do we look up the Star Destroyer pictures for you? Oh, uh, awesome. Yeah, I was just curious as to how many parts. I didn't actually look at reviews or anything. Oh, actually, I have, I've got it written down in my uh, cheat sheet for the video that I did, but I can't find that. Hang on. Oh, that's all right. I'll do a quick look. It's all good. No, yeah, I've uh, got the pictures right here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the design of the for it's quite 4, good. 4,784. 4,784. Works out at 23 cents apart. I knew that. So is, how, is that more than the Millennium Falcon? No, it's way less. Way less? Okay. So what's the, the RRP, like seven or 800? Uh, try 1100 for Australia. 11? Wow. Yeah, 1099. Yeah. It's 13 uh, for New Zealand. I hope they haven't made too many of them because they'll sit on shelf, I think. I think it'll get reduced pretty quickly. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the swoosh ability as the of the um, Millennium Falcon, does it? Not at how you should won't be able to lift it by yourself. Mm. Because I've got headphones on. Huh? No, Mum's asking why it's all quiet. It's because I've got headphones on Mum. I was going to give this little car to Mason, but I'm actually digging it, this star spike buggy. 
Which one is it? The little spider buggy from the four plus range. We can't say juniors anymore. It actually looks really cool for what it is. Huh. There is a spider buggy in the comics. I might have to change the back wheels so they're a bit larger. Yeah, they are a little bit high up, don't they? Yeah. Hey, Steve, did you notice what shirt I'm wearing tonight? Nice. Just, just for a change. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a shirt, how cute. Yeah. yeah the the old school Batman. Old school Batman. Yeah, the, from the Adam West. I just built a frog. What, what? What? Oh, it's a frog. Yep. That's cute. Little body bag set number four zero two seven nine. Little frog bits. Nice. Yeah, I've got a couple of little frog poly bag sets on top of my enclosure. Mm. Just because I can. Yeah, so what's everyone in the live chat up to? You all been a bit quiet. <laughs> Poke you a little bit. Are we awake? Are we awake? It's still in bed. It's too early to get actually get up. Uh, Cat Matt Jess is building set two one zero four five. I have no idea what that is. Um, Jason says he just built the ghost briquettes. Cool. It's the um, Trafalgar Square architecture set. Uh, um, just off the top of my head. Uh, uh, now the LDR folks is just taking photos of box. Cool. Oh, hey, Iceberg. We have a, we have a, a USA chat um, uh, fighting in the chat. What's up, Iceberg? Got a clearance uh, uni kitty set today as well. Big bucks. Nice. Thought it's uh -huh. That's, uh, 15 bucks. That's not too bad. At Target. It's been 15 bucks for a little while. Is it possible to get a full price uni kitty set anywhere in there? Nah, I wouldn't think so. That was a theme that didn't go down too well. I think it was the Nickelodeon um, thing made it too expensive. Yeah. Um, got a question from Iceberg Bricks. Darkside, you getting the new UCS Star Destroyer? Nope. No, way out of my price range. She's a wee bit overpriced. Not till she's in clearance, right? Well, that's, uh, Falcon's been in clearance basically price wise for how long now? I still haven't got that. Yeah. So, no. Um, <laughs> April, it's out of my price range, this all. Yeah. Comes down to be a April, store. Yeah. 
Steve, April says that's a cute little uni kitty set got a couple of weeks ago as well. Uh, cool. I think I, I think I have that one, but it hasn't made its way over here yet. I'll have to remedy that. Steve. Uh, we have a new a new new um, viewer, Siding Star Belly says I bought all the uni kitty sets. Upside down smiley face. I hope not RRP. I hope not either. All right, what's showing it? They're the oh. new briquette should be the out. Cool, so. The only cool Christmas one there is the ghost. The ghost. Oh. Steve, you're such a bar humbug. I thought you were going to say yeah. a bastard. Well, you're a no. bastard. You're a bar humbug. You remind me of somebody else I know. You're a bar hostage. <laughs> That's me. I like what it. I mean. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you like that too much. I did. Mm. You like that? Too? You like it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> April. April saying Uni Kitty hype. You know, heart. I agree. Um. I, I hope, hope to get as many of the kitties together to actually like put them in a frame or something. Be cool. No, I just bought it for the parts. Oh. The stick is pretty I, was, cool. I, think, I think I was promised one of those uni kitty frames for like my birthday last year and I'm still waiting. The sticker says anyway. party time. Uh, Jason says Chrissy Brickheads are not out yet, Ryan. I'm pretty sure Ryan knows that. Yes. Oh, no, you asked me about it. Didn't you ask me about it earlier, dude? No, the bauble. The bauble's oh, out, but the um, the Brickheads aren't. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's usually the first section I avoid is the Christmas one. Yeah, Why, well, so. Yeah. Maya had some Christmas stuff, uh, you know, the trees and whatnot being set up today. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll be they'll be open. The trim shop will be open on the twelfth. Yes. And yeah, and I, I, I sang a song about the the first day of September and retail staff have to put. Oh, it actually worked better when I sang it and they laughed. So it's not funny on <laughs> on not at all. Uh, <laughs> you should yeah. record it. Oh, I should have put it on iTunes. Uh, maybe I swear tunes. I swear it was funny when I said it. Oh, I can imagine it would have been funny. Nah. Wait, are there any other sets that are due to be released soon? I hope not. I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. Some, these are some of the Unikitty faces I've got. What's with the bottom one? It's a very happy Unikitty. It's a random crack. Hang on, put it back out. Do you know where they're from? <laughs> hey? The top one I've just got what? from this set. Yeah. Where are the other ones? Um... They, they, mm. You could just look them up and printed bricks on Bricklink. Oh, yeah. That'll that tell you. Question. Also has these cool wings in this set. Nice. Yeah. That was a nice piece. So I think that's pretty cool for like a um, cartoony style reindeer. Okay, um, Steve, we've got a question from a Uni Kitty expert who says April says the two bottom ones are from the Lego Movie Two set with the chocolate bar and the banana. That would make sense because I had no idea, but there's a banana right there. Yeah, it's doesn't from that, have a red so. tip on it. No, we need to fix that. Oh my god. That means it's natural. 
and don't know you people. <laughs> Why do you keep inviting us on then? Yeah, you individually invited us. Yeah. Someone's regretting that. I have, now. I have no comeback for that. Don't say it. I bet you're regretting your life decision. Not all of them. I regret the day that I invited you all onto my stream. It was the beginning of the end. When I invited you, Dan, you were an ambassador. And now you're an RLFM. Look at the things that change. I know, right? I'm still an ambassador too. Yeah, I know. But you were just an ambassador. But yeah, now you're, right. an you're, an own now. <laughs> you're your, your own man. Answerable to yourself. There I go. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, I don't. I don't regret inviting you people in. <laughs> hey, it, it, took, it took how many years to get Ryan on here? Now you can't get him off. I'm not here. Oh, I'm gladly leave. Bye. No. Off. That's all good. Oh dear. That's a different type of stream. <laughs> He's gone away. Come back. Come back. No. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do what? Back soon. Ah, oh, April says Dan answers to me too. Laugh, 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 joking. But are you, April? Are you really joking? I don't think you are. Dana. She's a slave driver. <laughs> Jason Carpenter says they're like vampires. Once you invite them in, you're stuck with them, which can suck. <gasps> oh, these people are my friends. It says it in the banner down there. Below Steve. In the gutter. Oh, April's cracking the whip, Dan. Yeah, not surprised. So, brother. Always wanting me to provide information for the design work early. Like, oh, whatever. Jeez. Ten minutes is all you need. That's what she said. <laughs> not I don't know any guys that would claim for needing 10 minutes. Oh, only two and a half for that, but 10 minutes to design a thumbnail. Come on, don't say that long. Two and a half marathon, man. Jeez. <laughs> Out mouth just says you insult your friends and ignore your enemies. Yes, that sounds accurate. What? No, no, not you, just generally speaking. Insult your friends and ignore your enemies. It obviously went straight over your head. What? 
Oh, you are ignoring me. You're so mean. I'm hilarious. 20 people watching and only six likes. Mustn't be very yeah, nice. Well, people. That's a little six likes were before, before you got here, Steve. <laughs> I, I can take it. Yeah. 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 This is the part where I go, hey, smack the like button and I'll, uh, and, and I'll invite Steve back. If you don't smack the like button, then it's all Steve's fault. Please don't smack the like button. I don't want to be invited back. <laughs> I feel like I bring down the mood, so be yeah, nice to have a drink. Right. You improve the mood, Steve. I don't know about that. You Brian's mood. You know it. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, good silence. Yep. And thank you to everyone who just hit the like button. And if anyone who hasn't hit the like button... Uh, if anyone's got a question in the live chat, feel free to um, pop it on down and uh, you can ask the panel anything you like. We I'm shy. Did you say pop it on down or pop a dom down? <laughs> Are you hungry, Steve? Are you hungry? Uh, Is it uh, snack time? No, nah, I'm all good. Sure. Yeah. I, I'm greatly disappointed. I got an order from um, Ali's Bricks and whatever it is, pieces or whatever, the other day, which gives me these beautiful little Ziploc um, thingies, little perforated bags and everything. Beautiful. Oh, how good is this packaging? He gave it to me in a bag. You are spoiled, the fact, Ryan. The fact that he actually, you know, had it turned around in like less than four hours for me to pick up is irrelevant. So, yeah. yeah he's it's a good package. Serve. Amazing. Yes. It's amazing packaging. Little perforated seals and everything. You made me go and look at the order I made. Still processing. Yeah. So I haven't messaged him telling him to pick up his game. Okay, tell him, man. So I've got a whole heap of paint pots now. Just because I can. Just be keen, be keen. Yeah. And some paint leaves and stuff. Strangely enough, for my Christmas display. Yo, what with the what now? Got a heap of little paint, um, what are they, paint palettes. Uh, paint palettes. Yeah. So I completely bought him out of stock of his paint palettes and his paint brushes. And what you doing with that? For the Christmas display when I eventually do the actual Santa's workshop part, mm -hmm. which won't be happening this year. That'll probably be um, 2020, well, maybe 2021. Can't rush so these things. Steve's grumpy. No, I, uh, I missed that, Steve. No, nothing to miss. I missed that, Steve. Show me again. I'm just playing or something.
Yeah, that's a mood. <laughs> Doesn't focus. No, it doesn't like it when you try and focus that close without putting on a macro first. No, nah, it sounds like a lot of effort. Yeah, it is a lot of effort. <laughs> Jason says, surely Santa has moved on to 3D printing. Well, Who are you if it Sean? wasn't too much. If it wasn't too much effort, I'd go to the other room and get the little 3D printing -y machine looking thing that I've made for Santa's workshop. It's a little conveyor belt that the presents go through, and then they go through a little spray booth and then come out painted. Then they go through the next bit and come out wrapped up. That's down for Yeah, but partially pulled apart at the moment, but. Yeah, Christmas 2.0 needs to be finished, hey. It's going um, to take... 2.0 is, yeah, it's an evolving project over a few years. Christmas 1.0 was three years, almost four years, and that was a quarter of the size of what this is going to be. Tell the people how crazy big it's going to be. It's going to be six by two metres. Wow. So at the moment it's two by uh, two by one at the moment. I'm hoping to get two by one and a half for brick Jesus, what are you compensating for? All right. <laughs> My lack of Christmas spirit. Oh, humbug. Yeah, me and Steve hate Christmas, don't we, Steve? I don't hate Christmas, I just I like Christmas at Christmas time. It is Christmas time. For the, for well, the couple of days that it's about. Specifically just Christmas Day, huh? Oh, Boxing Day is pretty good. Yep. Alrighty. We've got a, a, got a couple of... We've got a couple hello of new in the chat. In the live chat. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah, hello I was about to say hello to Pat. And uh, we've also got my Alan and Mickey 3CS has just rolled in. Right, joining tonight, Miss Mark. You missed everything, Mickey. Yeah, missed nothing. Oh, I mean, even Steve missed some of it. So, you know, you're excused. Oh my lord. What was that? The sound of putting Lego away. Because <laughs> someone's yes. actually building here. Oh my god. Actually, a lot of people are building tonight, just not me. Oh, Mickey, Mickey saying packing the car for Bundy. Cool, cool. So, what are the details of Bundy? Dark side. Yeah. Sorry, what, what? What are the details for Bundy? Uh, it's actually just a, a pop culture um, dealio that I asked if we could um, display Lego there and they, they were all for it. They said, yeah, for sure. So, Cool. When, where? Just obviously in the, Bundy. Yeah, it's in Bundy to, uh, tomorrow from 10 till 4. So it's only a short one. It's only a one day. This should be cool. Something fun for the locals. Yeah. Good. Goodness. 
Builder. I just put a video in yeah. the streamer chat. You need to motorize it. Yeah. It's Let's going to be motorized eventually. Looks cool. Oh, that is cool. Reminds me of Hondako's. The the food. Uh -huh. Hondako. I think he had bacon or bacon coming out on one end and pigs going in and chickens oh, and stuff. Nice. That was amazing. We were um we were next to that. That was really yeah. good. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, that's really cool, though, Ryan. Hey, he does some clever stuff occasionally. Occasionally. Not quite sure how I can... Like all the time. Trying to work out how I can screen share it, but All right, Sheree, do you have any special buttons that you can screen share that video or, or? Um, you can hold your phone up to the, to the uh, camera. <laughs> that's that usually what I just do. <laughs> just hold the camera. Yeah. Oh, probably, where is it in facebook hmm? yeah. yeah it's in the streamers chat oh. yeah. yeah i can share it yeah because for some reason it won't let me open it up full screen i guess i could have saved it and then done it yeah Okay. Ta-da. So obviously there's going to be a lot more presence on it and stuff like that. That was cool. Is that a piss take of Stephen Kindle's mini food? Yeah, that's the um, Bricktober mascot, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it go in the first place. Yeah, so it goes in as a Bricktober mascot and comes out all multicolored. <laughs> that's funny. Nice. That is just so clever. I can't do I can't do shit like that at all. Oh, Over here, I'll teach you. <laughs> Only a week. Uh, I don't think I'm I'm that good at learning Lego. I will. Was it challenge accepted? Yep. The little meow cat. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Just wake up. No. There was a um. Cat posted on the Cat Haven Facebook page the other day, the um, rescue place over here, and it got mm -hmm. its um, leg caught in a trap, so they've had to um, amputate it. But yeah, it was a beautiful black cat with three legs. I was so tempted to go up and get it, but I think it's already gone. There was about a hundred people before me showing interest. Uh, we um, we used to have a three-legged cat. We, yeah. Uh, we broke her leg, I think, four days before we got married. Um, and she clean broke it off. 
And uh, I think it was uh, $400 to take the leg off. This was almost 20 years ago. About $400 to take the leg off, or it was um, $6,000 to try and repair it, and she'd have to spend 12 months in a cat carrier. Being four days out from our wedding, we didn't have the thousands of dollars, so we got her leg taken off. And um, yeah. she for about 14 years, and she, she could do everything all the other cats could do, except run in a straight line. So, yeah. Um, but there's nothing, yeah, nothing she couldn't do. Yeah, they adapt pretty well. Yeah. But, yeah, and because it's only got three legs, they said it had to be kept inside and everything like that, which isn't an issue. Yeah. So, you know, because obviously it can't, um, you know, if it gets in a fight or whatever, it's not going to fare too well. No, they don't. Yeah. We're, we're lucky where we are. There's no other cats around. Yeah. Guess you got to make sure you don't put any, any uh, alcohol in its, in its saucer. Don't want it any more legless. <laughs> oh, God. That was Good a one, bad day. <laughs> it's dad joke day, isn't it? Yeah. Every day is dad joke day. Absolutely. Terry Ann Ross has a message from Tim. Okay. We're going to share what that message is, or yeah. oh, uh, it's no, just in the live chat. I'm waiting for it. I don't know. It's for a start, who's Tyrion Ross and who's Tim? I don't know. It's come through. Got to remember, there's a like gap in cool. the chat, isn't there? Ah, uh, there is a um, there, there is a delay. Lag, yeah. So oh, is that Tyrion Ross saying that they miss us, or is that the message from Tim saying that Tim misses us? That's the message from Tim from Hong Kong Bricks. Ah. Hey. Hello, we got a brother from another brick in the chat. Hello. Hey, Low battery. Everything's gone deadly quiet for a minute. Come on, Steve. Steve, don't fill the void, Steve. No, it's all right. Others can talk. So, Steve, you like Christmas, don't you? <laughs> At Christmas. At Christmas. Has time. its moments, I guess. So, you wouldn't be opposed to me bringing you over a Christmas present when I come over for Brickvention? I, I don't know. <laughs> be a bit late. That would have been hot for fun season, wouldn't it? I got it just oh, for you, Steve. Mason would love that. <laughs> oh, it's no, seriously. It's almost as tall as me. Hey? It's almost as tall as me. Yeah, Mason yeah. would love that. Yeah, it won't fit in my um, luggage. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> just cut off the heads. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've, also got just the, um, I've got the Lego Movie One um, 
cinema thing. You know, the one that was the um, I think it was the triangle, and it's got Benny, Emma, and Wildstyle, and you turn the sections to mix and match their head and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. So I finally picked up all my um, cutouts and banners and stuff. Obviously, you know, the banner in the background and stuff. Yeah. A few Star Wars ones somewhere. Cool. I got Crazy. I got the uh, I got one of the the Lego Batman movie ones where, um, yeah, he was holding a cup and then there was like the bat symbol in the background and yeah, it was too yeah. big and I have to left it in the garage. It was just yeah, got damaged. No way to put it. Yeah, I had, I had a Minions one, but that was for my nephew's birthday. He had a um minion party yeah so i went and begged and pleaded at the cinema and they let me have it there was the one that was holding the sign saying i'm with stupid or whatever it said i can't remember what it said but i changed that to happy birthday boston yeah so i heard a cool yeah, one over here cool. i haven't I haven't put it up yet i'll see if i can fit it on the screen for you Oh, that was green. Hang on. Nice. That was cool. Yeah, I've got um Lego move Lego Batman movie um poster somewhere. Yeah. I say somewhere it's in the same room as where I just got the friends one from. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of cool banners from the Lego Batman movie as well. Nice. This one I'm not sure if I can actually get on the on the, the screen. Do half and half. Do that bit. Nice. Sorry. I don't know what you can see, what you can't. I can see Batman. No, 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 no. And it's got the car on the other half, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. it's, it's double Very the size nice. of, the, of the normal banners. Yeah. I have a Monster Fighters banner um, and a, another Batman. Yep. I've got a Chima one. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Get that in the boys' room. Yep. We don't have, don't have any any more other than that. So just the Chima on top. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got Chima, a few Star Wars ones, a couple of Lego City ones, the big double size ones behind me, and I think one of the standard size of the same design. Um, I can't remember what else I've got. It's been that long since I've actually seen them. Got to keep it the banners when Toys R Us closed down. Yeah. Oh. I inquired for some of the banners when our Toys R Us closed down and they won hundreds of dollars for them. Oh, you mean the big ones? Yeah. No, yeah. just like the standard size and stuff. They wanted, I think the big ones were like 150 or 200 and something. Um, <coughs> like 70 for the small standard ones. It was just ridiculous. Ours, they, they said they had to go back to Lego and they wouldn't sell any of them. And then they all oh. on Gumtree a few weeks later. Yeah. Oh, there's a um, there's a toy world here that if you go in and ask for, like, CMFs or anything, they don't have any of the decent ones left. But then the lady that runs the toy world store always puts them on the buy and sell page. Mm. Like, surely people can put two and two together. Yeah. But she denies it. Yeah. So, but obviously, I'm not going to say who it is or what it looks like. Lord of the Rings banner, yeah, boy. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a 75th anniversary one too. 75th? Nice. Well, it's got a duck on it. Um, a duck. A wooden duck. A wooden duck, yeah. Nice. 
uh, got some of those yellow ones got some friends ones um, Duplo Chima Ninjago Nexo Star Wars we give them away at our shows yeah to, um, to exhibitors and uh, some of them I will auction them for exhibitors as yeah. well um, and all the money goes to the charity but the deal with it is is that the exhibitors are not allowed to on sell them because they are given to us by yeah. the retail uh, on the yep. proviso that they don't go into public sale so while yeah. we, we can't really control it we've not had anybody try and screw it over yet that we're aware of yeah that's why the um bricktober exclusive set that we released they're all individually numbered and we actually recorded who got which one so if they did go up for sale we'd know who was selling it okay not really much we can do about it but it's frowned upon we well, you know who not to give it to next time yeah exactly there was someone um posted up on one of the pages today they got a whole heap of the benny space crew set for like four dollars each or something and yeah they were asking yeah. if they should open them or not i think they had probably about 15 20 of them it's pretty crazy, crazy. like why would you buy that many if you had no intention on doing anything with them on sale at some point when um when toys r us closed down i um i sort of got a, a notification from the the manager that he had some lego that he wanted to get rid of um yeah. do you remember the old the make and takes they used to have yeah 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 they had um they had a bunch of the um there was a police car one with some, a lot of uh two by four black tiles yep um I, I get there and i have a look and he's like um he goes oh i've got a couple of you know containers here what do you think and i said oh i don't know 20 bucks just you know i know it was a low ball price but i thought you know try my luck it's like sounds good done um nice. there was there was close to 350 black two by four tiles Jeez. Oh, oh. so i think i got my money back straight away and there was a heap of other parts yeah. but um the coolest part the coolest thing was let me grab this and see if i can flip it I got two of these boxes. Oh, where are we? Sorry. Oh, the black Lego boxes. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh. Dude, those things are worth money in themselves. Good score. Yeah, I, I just yeah, I was happy just to get them. So yeah, I've got a couple of them in good condition and whatnot. But yeah, I keep them for me. So but yeah, to get two of those and, and all those parts. Um, heap of Toys R Us stickers. Mm. I wish that I had those when I was doing my Toys R Us mock. That would have been good. But um, yeah, now for twenty bucks, I yeah, was pretty happy with that. I can. Mm. Oh, you know how I was chasing road plates the other day, Steve. Yep. A guy posted on on one of the buy and sell pages selling some green plates. We don't need to go on big screen. It's some road. Look at that. It's road. Are they are they the ones from from Kmart? Do I see the link? No, these these are actually genuine ones. <laughs> see, Lego no, no fakey. No fakey. No fakey. Uh, Lego group. Fake roads. Yeah, they've but, got um, the, the base plates for those. I, I knew they had fake base plates, but I didn't know they sold fake roads. Yeah, what apparently they got roads now. Or um, Kmart, I think it was Kmart. Yeah, wow. Um, Target, I think. Yeah. Oh, Target, there you go. Uh, and an ola to everyone again from Collecting Bricks. You must have sensed that BFAB was on. Uh -huh. yeah. But um, yeah, so if I was selling some um, green base plate for five bucks each, and he said that he had 15 or something, I can't remember. So I said, yeah, cool. And then... Um, Asked him if he had any others. He found some blue ones and a tan one. And then I asked if he had any roads as well. 
and you had 10 road plates. All up, I think there was close to 40 plates, and you did it for 100 bucks. Wow. That's so, a decent score. Oh. Yeah. So, and I got enough road plates. It's just annoying that it was the day after I made an order from a German Bricklink store to get the road plates I needed. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I'll always need more road plates. I'm expanding the city, well, town, village, whatever it is. So I've gone from not having enough road plates to having way more than what I need, so. Always to have the ability to trade them too, so. Yeah. That's handy. That's what I was thinking. Like, even the price that I bought the ones from the German store, I can sell them for what I bought them for easy. So. You won't, though. Keep them for no, I won't. I have never sold Lego. Never will. I bought some um, CMFs years ago. They were from one of the early series. They go for about 20 bucks each. Yeah. And someone was selling them, worked out to about $4 each. So I thought, oh, yeah, I'll buy them, flip them, make a bit of coin. I've still got them sitting around. Uh, what are they? Which ones? I can't remember. I think the robot that um, Billy was looking for is in there, but I can't uh, find them now. So... That's the problem with the In the old house, I knew exactly where they were. So. Someone sounds tired. Hey. I only ever sold Lego once, and it was just recently to um, upgrade my PC for streaming. So. Yeah. It, it killed my soul. Oh, I, I was about to say, did that make you feel dirty? Yep. But I needed to. Well, that's right. I sold some um, trees the other week, yeah. So I actually did sell some Lego. Because my old version of Christmas had all the normal Lego trees, the standard element, and now I've upgraded to actual built trees, so I got rid of a heap of them. You say upgraded, but... Oh, yeah. Upgraded, Steve, yes. Upgraded. No, I know. I'm only kidding. I know you are. It's hard to build a forest out of trees that are the same height as a minifigure. Oh, I missed a comment earlier. Jason Carpenter says, I've got the Jurassic World standee with Owen waving a chicken leg, blue turning with a turning head, and the big dino with light up eyes. Nice. Ooh. And Cherie's thinking, where do you live and where do you hide your spare key? I don't think I've actually seen that. Yeah, Jason clearly has friends in the right places. Clearly. Hmm. Hmm? How do you stick a hexagon down to a not hexagon? How do you stick a thing onto a thing? So need that onto flat plate. Ooh. Offset some Jumpers. stuff. What? Oh, blue. Triggle. Jumpers. Jumpers. Tile underneath as well. Yeah, I might have to go with uh I think I can probably get away with it with two plate and the rest of it have to be tile, I think. Me thinks, me thinks. He thinks he thinks. No, actually, you know what? I don't know if that'll work either. Let's... 
April says, looks great. Dan, the, that mock is epic. I don't think that's going to work. Thank you. Uh, this will probably be the one that I bring to Brickvention. I did say I'd bring an Overwatch mock to Brickvention, and I doubt that I'll get the windmill done between now and Brickvention. So this might be it. Cool thing. Bring this one in the... Uh, the logo that I built. No, your logo is pretty cool. Yeah. It's probably all I'll be able to fit in the blooming suitcase anyway. So, unrelated, does anyone remember this book? Yep, Skater. Yes, Ex exclusive zombie skateboarder. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. Picked this up from Big W yesterday. Oh, wow. Limited edition zombie skateboarder. Different hairpiece? I'm pretty sure it's the same fig. Because I've got that figure. Hang on. Do you know where the figure is? Um, I don't know where my figure is. I oh, know. I'll go mine. Hang on a sec. All right. Grab yours. don't know. Is it a brown hairpiece or a black one? Black. Okay, same. Might be a different head. Um, I'll just get him out. That's what she said. Uh, I've behaved. I've been good. <laughs> this is behave. Yeah, for me it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is tame. So it's got red eyes with a little bit of a, a, um, a weird sort of upturned smile. Yep, red eyes, weird upturned smile. No, uh, looks like something, dude. Yeah. So maybe it's not an exclusive anymore. Not anymore. Oh. I'd say back when they did it, it was exclusive. Now it's just limited edition. Cool. How much was the book? Uh, 12 bucks. That's good. At Big W. Yeah. Nice. Not it's sponsored by Big smaller. W. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the other books and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. Halloween. Nice. Nowhere near as many pages. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. For 12 bucks, the but, fig's worth it alone, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's the ultimate Halloween collection, so it's just got information about all different Halloween-y type monster figures. Cool. So. Looks like some mocks in there too. Yeah. Little Halloween, um, little vampire um mocks and Vignette stuff sort of thing yeah that thing oh got a little fold out backdrop that's pretty cool nice that is cool with the monster out Didn't that even is know. Cool. use your stickers to create your own spooky scene okay apparently it comes with stickers Look at that. Cool. Comes with all um, Halloween stickers as well. Nice. I have a feeling. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. I just want to grab a book. Well, are we being on topic again? Yeah. Maybe. Well, it's they, getting close they do to it home. occasionally. Getting close to Halloween. It's time to put Christmas up. <laughs> and then it's got this little fold out poster at the back of the book. Which looks pretty oh, cool. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, but it's only A3. It's a very small poster. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's pretty cool because it's all the zombie minifigures. Well, not all of them, obviously, but the CMFs. I've got one from 2014 that was pretty cool. Yeah. 
Oh, the spooky sticker book. Yeah, have you got that one? No. I've got the Christmas one somewhere. Yeah, as you can imagine, there's quite a few stickers in this one too. Yeah. Two two pages of tiny little square stickers. Yeah. Oh, it's got a ton of I hate that with the ones that say it's got over a thousand stickers. Oh, and then there is some little ones here. Yeah, got you know about five hundred of them are little square ones. Bigger ones. Yep. And bigger ones. The monster fighter house is pretty cool in there too. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm gonna buy that house. I'm gonna buy that house. Well, not buy, but brick clean Kurt and sort of restore it and then winterize it. Oh, okay. Because it's an awesome looking house. There's lots of large stickers in this book. Yeah. Is that, oh, is that this is the robot that you were talking about, isn't it? With for Billsy? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that one too. This is a female version of it. Yeah. Oh, I'll oh, check that out. The zombie bride. Well, you weren't you weren't here a couple of seconds ago, were you, Steve? Uh, probably not. Did you talk about that one, did you? No, but there was this poster in the back of the book. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I thought it had the zombie bride, but it doesn't. It was the cheerleader. Ah. But it's a pretty cool looking poster. I got a zombie bride. Yeah. Shouldn't talk about your missus like that, especially on her birthday. Ouch, you did not say that. Yeah, I didn't defend her either. <laughs> defend her honour. He's gone quiet. Uh -oh, he's gone quiet? I think so, Lee. He's gone to apologise to her. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Oh, don't hit me, honey. I think oh, when you said to defend her, defend her honour, all he heard was on her. That's what she said. Oh, no. That's what she felt. No. <gasps> that was a bit quick, Steve. I'll do my best. Work. Some, uh, Top by down. Stranger Things. Hey. Upside down monster's house. Is it really? It's coming up normal for me. No, it's upside down. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, turn your head around. Ah, uh, yes. That's better. Nice. All the different monsters. I've got that car somewhere. I don't have the car, but I've got the house. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I got those friends vampires next to that. Oh, you yeah. love them. All the vampire, all the vampires in the vampire castle. Heap of different ones. So that um, the haunted mansion, did that have any exclusive sort of pieces or any rare type pieces? Uh, rare figs. Like there's yeah. the, the chef and the butler. Back in the day, it was the only way to get clean green. Mm. Yeah, well, well, you know, well, you can't see the camera's not there, yeah. but no, yeah, I've got heaps of sand green bits because obviously I'm going to, that's pretty cool. Check out the I actually think I might have that as well. See the banner? Yeah. Nice. And on the side, there's a Batman one. Nice. I'm starting to think I might have that Monster Fighters one, but not sure. Monster Fighters boss. Yeah, they could bring it back. Nah. Stuff everyone that missed it out. <laughs> no, bring nah, it. they should expand on it. They shouldn't no. redo it. They should expand. No, I won't redo it. It wouldn't bother me.
I don't care the value of them because I don't sell it. I'm the same. I've got probably sixty thousand dollars worth of model cars, but it means nothing to me because you know I don't plan on selling them. Yeah. So, it's only worth what has all the monster fighters except for the haunted house. There was someone on my local buy and sell selling some Lego and they had the haunted house and I sent them a PM, but they never got back to me. Yeah, I, I think I've got all the sets. Yeah. I showed you my, um, my purchase the other day, didn't I? The one. I think we're here for it. This cool one. Oh, hang on. What is it? A Halloween um, extra pack, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Wow. It's terrible. Can't get there. Too shiny. Yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. Is that really old? Um, I'll see if I can just... Where is it? 2012. Yeah, wow. Yeah, relatively old. Yeah. yeah. Pretty no, cool. I saw it at um, the brick market and thought, I have to have that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I liked it. The heck? Somebody's ringing. Yawning on the stream. I'm sorry. I hope everyone can't fight back their yawns. Yep, it's that time of night. Right, Third night is that time of night. I'm running on fumes after two nights of cricket. Ah, oh, blame the cricket. Mm. Steve watch like a, a. No, watch. Of course, it's watching. It's the ashes. You got to watch it. Double sure. That that sounds like something that would be riveting. For cricket fans, it is. I can understand those that are yeah. cricket. Fans. I wouldn't yeah, watch well, the tour be a man, car fan, and now I understand the people that actually hate it. I don't. I'm no interest in racing cars and stuff. Or, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Tour de France or marathons or anything from the Olympics almost. It's just not really my thing. Yeah. Just, just yeah. anything that involves activity. No, no, I like, I mean, I, I do like the basketball from the Olympics. Um, maybe the soccer, but it's just not a great deal of stuff that interests me. So, I like my team sports. Go team. Go sports. Yay, sports ball. Oh, when, we start, when we start talking sports, that's it. Game over. All right, thanks for coming. <laughs> What Can were you going to say, Ryan? I may or may not have watched the Lego movie the other night. Mm. It is quite a great film. Which Lego movie? The first one. Oh. The I original. I watched it. <laughs> yes. Only about 40,000 times. I always fall asleep watching it. I can't watch them. Yeah. I find them boring. Can't watch. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hand in, hand in your... No. 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 market it for no. kids. It's movie. No. It's a sophisticated interlocking brick system. Yeah, but the animated movies are boring, so... Yeah, I tend to concur. The one thing I hate about the Lego movie, though, 
is that they coined the term craggle. Yeah. It is so annoying. Sadness. Yeah, the only Lego movie I like was the um, original Batman one. It was only went yeah. for it. It wasn't it wasn't the um the stupid Lego Batman movie where you know he's into heavy metal music and you know sadness, blah blah blah. You know, it was actually it was funny. It wasn't, you know, wasn't um over the top. So yeah, it was good. They've only yeah. Uh, we've reached that time of the night where um, uh, some of us are tired and it's probably time to go. So I might start wrapping this up now, hey? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan, Sharik. I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat tonight. You guys always keep it lively in the chat. Um, don't forget that you can ask questions and we do like answering them. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my friends who have joined me tonight. we had Ryan who showed us lots of stuff. Thank you, thank you. Um, Bill, oh, hang on, too quick. <laughs> no, nope, not allowed to see it now. There you go. <laughs> there we go. One last look. Nice. <laughs> well, I say thank you to Bill and Jody for joining me as always. Thanks, guys. To uh, Dan from Dan from oh my god I am bet between the bricks. <laughs> Did you get it to work? Well, no. at the moment it's just sitting in this gap here. Looks fine. Mm. Which it will actually good. sit there. It okay. works. It looks all right. Good job. Okay, yay! Thanks, I say guys. thanks See you to. Next time. Thanks to Dark Side Bricks for hanging out. Good luck for Bundy Pop tomorrow. Oh, he's muted. Where's the sound? There you go. Okay, all the best for Bundy Pop tomorrow. Yeah, mate, it should be good. You know, I've got to be up okay. in five hours time. Oh, crazy man! Yeah. Crazy man! Oh, I've got well. some building done. Yeah. I built some um, the city starter set. Oh, sweet. A little fire oh, ambulance and policeman and a couple of minifigs. Oh, nice. You've been productive. That's always a good thing. Yeah. I was building too. Right. Yeah, of course. And uh, last but not least, thanks to Steve. Thanks for having me. Good night, Harry. Happy birthday, Kelly. And um, rock on. I don't know. <laughs> rock on. <laughs> And on that note, it's time to hit the red button. Don't forget, we'll be back here on Tuesday night. So uh, check it out. Three, two, one, red button time. Boop.